Joy was patiently waiting in the queue to get her books at the bookstore. But her classmate, Peace, whose mother was friends with the owner of the bookstore, didn't have to wait in line. Peace confidently jumped the queue and was attended to immediately. Joy wasn't pleased with this, but she knew there was nothing she could do about it. Have you ever been in a situation like Joy? How did it make you feel? I'm sure just like Joy, you would have been deeply hurt. This type of situation happens a lot in our society. A lot of people are, not, are unhappy because they never get what they want. Why? <laughs> because they don't belong to a particular tribe, religion, or even political party. And it's sad. A lot of poor people suffer because nobody considers them in the society. In most cases, the rich are considered first when they are apply for jobs, for business, loan, or when they need anything at all. The leftovers are divided for the poor. The poor never get justice for anything. This same problem of impartiality that happens in the community has been brought into the church. In most churches, the rich are allowed to rule over the poor. They let them become the head of many departments, leaving the poor to handle jobs like cleaning the toilet, sweeping the church. Apostle James encouraged the church to remember that God loves everyone equally and everybody should learn to treat themselves with love and respect, irrespective of their social status. In conclusion, Apostle James encouraged that Christians should practice impartiality outside of the church so that there, there will be peace and unity among members of the society and also kill any form of distrust and competition while fostering a sense of unity and belonging. Hope you had a swell time learning. I would see you in the next class.